Let's check for printer. What's the problem with this printer? According to our friend who is in charge of this printer, the printer could not feed the paper properly. Oh no! Okay, you see the error? It's not holding the paper well. And it shows here printer or multi page feed error. So we will try to take a look at its uh, printer feeder. So it could be the pickup or the roller feeder because uh, these feeders are responsible for feeding the paper on this printer. Okay, and before that, shout out to guys. Shout out to the Blanga, Blanga Maricoy. So, chai! Extend o exit. Sa nang mapuli, is nang bagan, mabayili pa ta. So that's it, and uh, let's try to take a look at what happens with this printer. And uh, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell because uh, we will be uploading videos like this every week and every time that we have any troubleshooting experience right here for us to be able to guide you and help you out with your computer systems or your printers because your skills can save you a lot of money, time, and effort, right? So let's try to diagnose this printer on what is really happening on this by watching this video. So the first thing that we should do is to check if the printer can be turned on. So make sure that that's being connected to a working power outlet. So let's try. Okay, so it's working and it shows no error at this moment. So let's try to load the paper right here and see what happens. So give me one second and we'll just set up the camera for us to have a stable video. Now that we have our camera set, let us load now the paper. And we'll perform a print test. what is happening on the printer. Okay, so have you heard it? It took the printer to get the paper twice. See the error? It's not holding the paper well. And it shows there printer or multi page feed error. When we disassemble a printer, make sure that the power cord has been unplugged to make sure that it has no power source. Also, the USB connector to the computer should be unplugged to ensure that there is no any data connection or electrical connection in between the devices okay so this is now our printer that we're going to uh, to disassemble but before that we will first remove its um, waste ink pad compartment
Alright guys, so we have already emptied the waste ink pad compartment and also we already dried up this cover. So what we're going to do is to wipe off the remaining wasted ink in this compartment to make it clean. So we can use this piece of paper to absorb those mess. To absorb the mess. Let's try to lift it up to remove some of the spill in over here because of the overflowing in from the waste paper. Okay. okay, just reinstall the waste in that compartment. For the wasting title part. And now for the printer disassembly of Epson L3110.
So these are the things that are involved in the problem of feeding the printer paper. So we have here the pickup roller with its rubber and possibly it has already loosened its friction due to the wear and tear. Another one is the feeder roller where it becomes hard so we need to put some grease on the spring later and another thing is the spring as you can see the spring is already deformed so it affects the pressure that is needed to pull the uh, uh, feeder roller while the printer is feeding the paper so we will uh, try to readjust this spring right after we have changed the rubber of this pickup roller and the rubber also of this feeder roller so let's go Now we have the shape almost like the original, so uh, we can use this later. So we have here the spare rubber for the feeder roller and the pickup roller. So we'll install first the one that's on the feeder roller. Let's remove some dust. just install this one. It's a very easy to install. Just do like that and ensure that it has already been placed on the right position. It should be centered. Okay. Now that this it has already been installed, let's proceed with this feeder roller. We'll remove this one. And we can remove this with the roller right here. And let's remove first the spring. So here we go. Right. Let's remove this one. You can see it has deformed. It's not perfectly round, so we will install a new one which is round and even. Just take like this, center, and install. for the guide and bam there we go we install the cover there and put it right back it's house
turning of the feeder rope.
Let's check for printing. Alright guys, so that's all for today for fixing our printer right here and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell and also don't forget to share this video and I would like to give thanks to my subscribers out there for patronizing our videos and being always right here on our channel. So it's yours truly guys, as always saying, it's Juke Turbo right here. Have a great day and stay safe everyone.